Cameron. Cameron, how we feeling about this one, chat? What y'all think about this one? Let me know. That dude, Xavier, says need hierarchy. Very 90s. Adame's, uh 26 says. Yeah, definitely a lot going on with this one. <laughs> y'all got any more thoughts? Let me know some. That dude, Xavier, says I like the direction. Adame says, uh, but the alignment is slightly everywhere. UT Curse says everything feels so mixed up. Yeah, this one is... um. Kvelli says, what font is the text? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this one is very, very kind of kind of chaotic. But um, I don't think that necessarily is a, a bad thing. I just feel like there just may be a few, you know, like one too many elements here. Um, like I'm not seeing like a cohesive kind of color palette. I feel like that's one thing that you could have done just to make this not even just unrelated to 90s catalogs just to make the design better itself um i think you probably could have stuck with a few colors um because you know i feel like these colors here the green the red and you've got kind of got this like a uh, mustard yellow here um all of those feel very different than the sony that you have down here at the bottom and the color palette that you have going on there and yeah i can Kvelli says i can see the vision though yeah i can see the vision for sure it just needs um just needs some work like you've got you've got your call outs here which is also cool like i see what you're trying to do with kind of like the outer glow on each one i just think that may have need to be pushed a little bit more because right now it's so the outer glow for each one is so small that it feels like an afterthought and then maybe like the 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 letting of this text here if you could just bring that closer together i feel like that would have done good as well John 3K says, feels a little chaotic for a catalog ad, like no distinct grid, in my opinion. Adam A says, maybe the model could be enlarged to the left, which follows the rest. Yeah, definitely. I think these um definitely could have been organized a little better. Like, I think, you know, I could give all the feedback in the world on this, but I think, you know, to start off, like, what you should work on probably is just figuring out, like, columns, columns and grids. Um, I think that's the one thing, like you've got a lot of elements here. You've got a lot to play around with, Pro probably way more than you actually need to pull off, you know, a catalog sort of look or of, of some sort. But um, I feel like if there was a, a clear kind of hierarchy here, then I feel like, you know, this, this might work a little better. Raven says it clashes a bit. I feel like the focus on the items, but I feel like the focus is on the items, but I think they should have been emphasizing more. Yeah, like um, I feel like the model here is is definitely the first thing that my eye picks up, uh, and then after that it's the what's new here. But then, other than that, you know, I'm just kind of left kind of floating around here to just kind of look at random objects, and so I feel like maybe if you know the model was blown up a little bit, I think someone said that here. But yeah, Adam A says the, the model could be enlarged uh, to the left, which follows the rest. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Um, you could have taken the model, blown it up here, and then you could have t taken all of these products and then just kind of placed it in a column on the on the right hand side. And then I feel like maybe you could have completely done away with the thresholded sort of images in the back here because um, it looks like it's one image. Uh, so you've kind of got, you've kind of added some this sort of kind of like pop art feel to it, you know, with this one image, but you've got it replicated, you know, within this kind of um, uh, stair step sort of manner. Um, I think you could have done away with this. Um, I would have left the Sony logo untreated potentially, but um, yeah. Any thoughts before we move on to the next one, chat? Cameron, I hope you got some good feedback out of this one for real. I know you can go crazier uh, for the next one. Y'all good on this one, chat? All right, next up, we got Nick. Nick, where is Gucci? How we feeling about this one, chat? What y'all think? Let me know some. Adam A says, okay, this is clean. That dude, Xavier, says, great work. Yeah, this one is solid. They've even got the, they've even got the kind of like ghost, sort of like uh, kind of ghost images within there. So like if you were to actually scan it in, then you kind of see the products that in things that are on the other side of the page. So good, good attention to detail on this one. Adam A says it's simply, it's simple and uh, enough at the same time. John 3K says, nah, this one goes hard. Her says definitely a 10. 
that dude Xavier said maybe add something so the product names are called out a little more. Cole says sick poses, awesome work. Kaveli says this hard, but what if uh, but what if the borders and the letters had color? That could have been cool. Maybe a little pop of color somewhere over here on the right hand side. I don't feel like it needs it though, but definitely you know just. Would have been something fun to play around with. Uh, Vatlo says fits in the 90s magazine. Yep. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely getting Delius from this. John 3K says, oh, wow, I ain't even peeped the ghost images until now. This one is so simple, but very detailed. Adam A says the choice of imagery kind of draws you in. Yeah, very, uh, you know, the images, uh, imagery is very dynamic. Even down to kind of this dude kind of being close up, but he's got this sort of like um, this kind of, I don't know, this kind of like a, a kind of glow within the lens here. Almost kind of like there's some sort of like, a, like he's at a rave or something, which is kind of cool. Kaveli says, oh, so yeah, what if the product names had colors and they corresponded with the model's hair color or something? That would be, that would be cool. Yeah, I think this one is solid. I don't really, uh, I don't really have any strong critiques or feedback uh, for this one I think it's solid I think um one thing that could have been fun to kind of try out on this one though is that um, you know earlier we talked about when people often get catalogs they'll uh you know they'll go through them pick out what they like they'll circle it you know kind of maybe scribble around it or something like that I think something like that would have been cool with this one you know um just to try and push it a little further so maybe you had like uh maybe you had like ballpoint pen sort of scribbles on this or something like that. So maybe some sort of like a scribble elements incorporated. So, you know, I feel like that would have kind of helped frame it up a little bit as far as like, or not help frame it up, but it would have added a frame, a frame framing sort of aspect to it. And where, you know, you're calling attention to a specific item or a specific product or something like that. And it would also kind of, make it feel like it was previously owned um which kind of also kind of plays to the kind of ghosting of the images within the the background here so maybe if you were to kind of like circle you know if you like these maybe to circle that and then maybe circle which product that was over here or something like that i feel like that could have that could have been cool to kind of play around with could have also maybe even been fun to you know kind of maybe even add like a little mustache on this dude or something just to kind of like scribble it in you know almost kind of like you know like this kid got a hold of you know his mom's like jc penny cat catalog or something like that and just started going crazy you know what i mean i feel like something like that could have been cool but overall this is solid i don't i don't have too much feedback for this y'all y'all got any additional feedback chat let me know what y'all think all right we're gonna go to the next one all right last up we got UT curse, UT curse. I know you in here. What y'all think of this one, chat? How we feeling about this? This is supposed to be a '90s catalog cover, so this wouldn't be a page inside of the magazine. So this would be like the the cover. <laughs> UT curse says I'm cooked. No, you're not cooked, bro. You good? John three K says another another W. Was oh is that the uh when Winona? I don't know how to say that, so I've been avoiding saying it. Adam A says clear focal point of the model. Yep, definitely. What else y'all feeling? How we feeling about the type, the type choices here? John 3K says, nah, you pronounced it right. <laughs> yeah, I think this is, I think this is solid. Um, my initial thought when I first saw this one, it felt a little bit more like, uh, more like editorial, less like a catalog cover, but I feel like this, this could probably be more of a kind of modern kind of catalog cover, I would say, but it definitely, definitely feels a little bit more editorial. Um, especially since you've got like the different kind of, um, I imagine these as kind of like articles that you're going to be talking about. Like, so step into the nineties with Winona Ryder's, uh, chic wardrobe, and then, uh, captivating audiences with her portrayal of generation X, uh, angst and timeless literary herons, um, nice negative space between the type Adam A says. Yeah, I was thinking um, also the amount of typefaces here. I initially was thinking like it feels a, a little bit too much. But then again, in kind of editorial, you know, I feel like they do use kind of like a lot of 
a lot of type they use they use a bunch of different typefaces for specific articles the john 3k says combine this one and the first one and we got a full winona catalog for real this is dope though um i like the direction of it i do feel like the los angeles california right here is just kind of a little out of place i would have liked to see it maybe um smaller and maybe closer to kind of like the uh the logos over here or maybe kind of left aligned along with um with the articles i just i just, I just don't know where it's supposed to where it's supposed to land um i feel like you probably could have even like taken it um bumped california up a line and then just put it across the top above uh the winona vat low says alignment is crooked on some of the articles also too close to the edge yeah you got a very small margin going around there i would have also made this pop a little bit right here this feels like an afterthought i almost didn't see that this is supposed to be like the uh the addition that dude xavier says i like the idea it would be cool to see the copy played with a little more yeah like i think this is good here i think this is solid but right here I feel like you kind of start to you kind you kind of start losing losing steam a little bit. <laughs> like I feel like even this if you had this typeface here, I feel like it would go a little bit better. But what else y'all think in chat? I feel like some um some uh, a script typeface would have would have went would have went good with this also. And then um I feel like yeah, this here needs to be played with a little bit also. Like I'm I'm reading this is like uh my brain wants to read this is one word. But it's supposed to say a year to remember, so your kerning here is a little too tight. So I would space that out a little bit. Instead of just making, drawing attention to the A, um, almost as if it's a drop cap of some sort, I would just bring that in line with the rest of the text and just make it bigger to kind of fill up this space right here. And maybe kind of do the same for this also. And then I don't mind the placement of the logos here, but they do overpower the articles a little bit so i would have made these smaller potentially maybe probably uh brought the article uh not the articles the the logos down in this corner here and then replaced um the barcode or moved the barcode to the left to be right within this white space of like where the sheet is kind of here and then you could have brought all of this uh this text up a little bit kind of would have, would have helped to kind of fill out some of the space a little bit adam a says also i can't see the small text line underneath uh the title yeah this is um this starts to get lost within like all of the within the color the texture um everything so maybe even like um making that a little larger or choosing a bolder font for the typeface feel like that would have done good but i like the i really like the the type treatment here of the title i feel like that's pretty solid i would have liked rider not to be italicized the curse says it was my watermark yeah i would have liked rider to not be italicized here if it's connected to winona the title right here i just feel like i'm i'm pronouncing that wrong but i don't care yeah when you italicize this it it, it, it makes it feel a little bit disconnected um from the from from the headline here but overall solid very solid very solid adam adam, adam a says has the vintage look which is nice and i'm trying to trying to find some more thoughts but i think i think that's all the feedback i got y'all got y'all got any more feedback for this one let me know some ut kerr says thanks g everything noted i got you bro well if y'all ain't got no feedback then you know what i'm saying i guess that's 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 stream appreciate y'all for rocking I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go uh, do some client work or something, take a walk, something, touch grass. I advise y'all do the same. Step away from the computers a little bit, go out, explore the real world, you feel me? Get some sleep. Vatlo says 70, 80s vintage ads. I got you. Okay, okay. We'll consider it. Adam A says it's like 11 p.m. here in the UK. God dang. All right, yeah, get some rest, bro. All right, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Peace. <laughs>